In the next three videos, we're going to talk about three concepts that are related to each other uh, in interesting ways. And they're three concepts that sometimes we forget how to do because, again, they're, they're elementary school or pro more, more likely middle school concepts uh, that can get a little confusing uh, if we don't remember exactly how to work them. So in this video, we're going to work on factors. What is a factor? Well, a factor is simply a number that can go into another number without a remainder. Now, understanding this would have, we, we need to understand what a remainder is, and in a later video we're actually going to talk about the remainder. Uh, but in this video, we're just simply going to talk about um, factors. And we'll get into the remainders in the next video. But, so, factor, let's do an example, like 24. What are the numbers, what are the factors of 24? What are the numbers that can go into 24 without leaving a remainder? Or in other words, go in equally. Now there are multiple ways to figure this out, um, and in video probably number 10 or maybe 11, we're going to talk about prime numbers, because uh, that will become important in a second, but there's a number of ways we can figure out the factors of 24, and this is basically how I do it, uh, and this can work for pretty much any small number, I mean it gets a little bit more difficult if you do big numbers, but you're really never going to have to find the factors of you know, numbers bigger than 100 on the SAT, so. So what I do with 24 is I say, okay, one is always a factor of every single number, right? Because one can go into any number, any integer, that is. Um, but these are more like factors of integers. So really, it's integers that can go into another integer. So it's not just numbers. But anyway, so one would work. And then I just go up the scale. And I say, OK, two would go into 24. So would three, so would four. Five does not, so I skip it. Six does, seven doesn't, eight does. 9 doesn't, 10 doesn't, 11 doesn't, 12 does. And now the secret is once you get to 12, once you get to the halfway point, once you get to 24 or whatever number you're dealing with divided by 2, you're done. Because nothing else is, if 12 goes into 24 two times, there's nothing else that's going to be able to go in equally into 24. So now you can just end off with 24. So 1 and itself are always factors of this number, and uh, the rest are going to be uh, whatever ones go into it equally. Another way you can do this is by using what's called a factor tree. This is for finding the prime factors of a number. And a prime, just to go ahead, jump ahead a little bit, a prime number, prime number, is a number with factors of 1 and itself only. So examples would be 2, 3, 5, 7, etc. So what we do for these factor trees is we say, OK, usually what I'll do is I'll just start doing it by 2. So I'll say, OK, 2 goes into 36 and leaves 18. And then 2 goes into nine, 18, leaving 9. And then 9 is 3 and 3. And there you go. There are your factors. 2, 2, 3, and 3. Um, those are your prime factors, I should say. By the way, these factors here, if we do the factors of 36 this way, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8 doesn't work, 9 does work, 10, 11, 12 works, 13, 14. 18 works, and then 36. So I think these are the factors. I'd have to check them again. But you'll see that these are all just going to be various multiples of these factors right here. So there are two different kinds of factors. You've got your regular factors, and then you've got your prime factors. Two different kinds of uh, approaches to getting pretty much the same thing. One other thing is, what about you if you had two numbers, like 12 and 18? And what if I asked you for the greatest common factor. Well, what that means is essentially, what is the number, the greatest number that these two have in common as a factor? So let's do 12 first. 12 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. 18 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, and 18. So what would be the greatest common factor here? Well, it would be 6, right? These are the greatest factor here that they share in common. So the GCF for these two, or the greatest common factor, would be 6. And that's pretty much all there is to know about factors.